sorry for the delay. I think that you will hear me. Uh, my name is Eva Kuledulu. I'm from the University of the Aegean. I'm from the University of the Aegean in Greece. And uh, my presentation today is about corrosion resistance of 2024 aluminum alloy, electron beam welded joints for different heat treatments in collaboration with the National Technical University of Athens and the Hellenic Aerospace Engineer uh, uh, Industry. Sorry. Concerning my outline, I will first introduce, then explain the experimental procedure, um, and uh, then uh, speak about the results, the analysis, and conclude. To begin with the introduction, uh, aluminum alloy 2024 is uh, an old aluminum alloy that is still in use in the lower wing structure of typical Airbus aircraft. Some of the most important uh, uh, characteristics of the aluminum alloy uh, is uh, that uh, the, um, uh, the, the increased uh, mechanical properties as well as uh, the, ha the, um, the, <laughs> the high tolerance, I am so sorry. Um, concerning uh, the artificial aging of the aluminum alloy, uh, aluminum alloy 2024 is a, a, a precipitation hardened uh, aluminum alloy. And that means that uh, precipitates are being formed in the matrix due to thermal uh, energy given. Uh, it must be noted that the main precipitate form in this alloy is the theta phase. Uh, where copper to aluminum is uh, the composition, is, is, is the composition. Continuing, the main uh, mechanism of artificial aging provides an efficient blocking of the dislocation, which generally improves the gauge stress uh, but uh, sacrifices ductility. Two possible ways of the dislocation slip is uh, to shear the, per the precipitates or surround and bypass the precipitates. As you can see from the graph, as you can see from the graph here, uh, the, the artificial aging of 170 Celsius degrees artificial aging gives uh, the 2024 aluminum alloy the maximum gauge stress. That's why in our investigation we chose this temperature to be performed so as uh, to see uh, the effect on the weld. Continuing. The technological problem that exists is connected with uh, uh, the, join, uh, the joining methods that uh, are used in today's aircraft industry. The weight and the cost of reverting processes have led the industry to explore welding technologies which are more uh, efficient and provide better performances. Continuing, uh, from the other hand we have the corrosion problem which exists and produce a deterioration of the airframe structures by forming cavities and oxidation products in small localized areas of the affected components. For our investigation, we use the exfoliation corrosion uh, procedure as it's uh, widely used in aeronautics as it, it gives a very aggressive, so it is a very aggressive solution and it better simulates uh, uh, pitting corrosion. Uh, continuing to, my, to the experimental procedure, first we receive aluminum alloy 2024 seats with, a nominal, with a nominal thickness of 3.2 millimeters. Then, uh, the, the, as you can see from the flowchart, uh, we machined and prepare the seats by artificial aging, uh, aged them at, uh, as I said before, 170 Celsius degrees. Then the electron beam welding technique was performed and uh, tensile and fracture toughness uh, specimens were uh, catted so as to perform for half of them um, uh, tensile and fracture toughness uh, tests. But in order to compare the corrosion effect, we also corrode half of them also in order to evaluate uh, all the mechanical properties and uh, conclude about the, the localization and degradation of corrosion mechanism, as well as the mechanical performance of electron beam welded uh, joints. First, the artificial aging uh, process would have been performed in the heat uh, uh, treating oven, as you can see. 
Uh, we chose uh, three different district, uh, district um, times to simulate underaging, peak aging, and overaging conditions. Uh, we we based our work in a previous work uh, where these specific uh, times for aluminum 2024 uh, T in T3 condition uh, has been performed. Continuing, the electron beam welding process has been performed, and uh, two of the uh, in, uh, by the Hellenic uh, aerospace industry. And uh, concerning uh, the um, the weld, uh, the weld direction, the welding direction was in parallel uh, with the rolling direction, and the weld has been chosen to be at the center of the specimen. Moving on, as I said before, half of them, half of the specimens were corroded and half of the other specimens were not. So for the corroded uh, specimens, for the exfoliation corrosion solution was consisted of the above um, chemicals uh, in, uh, in one liter of uh, distilled district water. Uh, the exfoliation corrosion was performed as, uh, in this area that you can see here, the gray area, and the other two areas were uh, masked with uh, and sub, uh, with uh, were masked and uh, all the specimens uh, and the gauge length that we have uh, used was here the 50, 50 millimeters so we've choose uh, to we have chosen to uh, perform two hours uh, corrosion uh, exfoliation corrosion for the welded uh, specimen as we based our work in a previous work, as I said before, of 2024 aluminum alloy, uh, which uh, has been shown that no essential picking was noticed in the cross-section area of specimens after up to two hours exposure to exfoliation corrosion, while 10 site activity decrease was evident from uh, even half an hour of exco uh, exposure to this uh, specimen. This is something that we proved also as we performed different uh, exfoliation times uh, to electron beam welded joints. And we've seen that uh, uh, after two hours we have low peaking and after the two hours the corrosion effect uh, is a, a uniform peaking. So for the, cor the comparison of the artificial aging uh, electron beam welded uh, specimens, we chose the two hours corrosion. All the mechanical tests, the tensile and fracture toughness tests, have been performed uh, in collaboration with the National Technical University of Athens by a servo hydraulic testing machine according to the specifications. Continuing to the results, firstly, uh, the microscopy photos which have been uh, uh, taken allowed us to see the differences in the, micro the microstructures of uh, the base material, the fusion zone, and the heat affected zone. Continuing, we've seen the differences between the non-welded and welded uh, 2024 aluminum alloy, and we've noticed that uh, the Yale stress of uh, the aluminum alloy in comparison with the welded uh, has an approximate 40% uh, decrease, while the elongation of, uh, at fracture is uh, the only mechanical property which is affected the most because we have, for the non-welded, 19.5% elongation at fracture, while for the welded specimen, we have 3.83% elongation at fracture. Continuing, we've noticed that for the artificial uh, A's and then electron beam welded uh, joints, as you can see from the typical tensile test, uh, with, the in with the increasing artificial aging time, no, no significant difference in the Yale stress and ultimate tensile strength was noticed. An essential ductility decrease was evident, especially here in the nine hours and uh, 48 hours. Uh, and uh, in all cases, fracture occurs at the interface between the fusion zone and the heat affected zone. Concerning the conventional gate stress, the comparison between the corroded and the non corroded aluminum uh, welded uh, joint, uh, you can see with the, the blue line the, uh, 
the non-corroded and with the red line, the corroded. So for the non-corroded, the yield stress decreases slightly for peak uh, aging condition and almost 10% for the over aging condition. While for the corroded, uh, it has been proved that maximum decrease uh, in uh, the yield stress was in T3 condition and uh, no significant decrease due to corrosion exposure for over uh, aging condition was noticed. Concerning the allegation and fracture, uh, for the artificial aids and then electron being welded joints, the ductility decrease of almost 40%, as I said before, uh, was noticed uh, in the under-aging and peak-aging conditions, and significant uh, recovery was noticed uh, in the ductility for the over-aging condition. For the red line, which describes the corroded uh, electron being welded uh, aluminum alloy, Small uh, elevation and fracture uh, decrease was noticed due to corrosion uh, in uh, the underaging and peak aging conditions, while significant decrease in tail side ductility was noticed in the overaging condition. Moving on to the second part of our uh, uh, investigation, the fracture toughness test, we have noticed that after nine hours of artificial aging, an increase of maximum course a corresponding CMOD, which is the mouth of the displacement, was observed, an essential increase of maximum force in the re uh, respective CMOD at 48 hours was noticed, and at the overaging condition, uh, both maximum load and corresponding CMOD value decreases. Finally, we've noticed that for the cr uh, critical stress uh, intensity, the non-corroded critical uh, stress intensity decreases as artificial aging time increases. At the, the overaging condition, a small recovery was evident, and concerning the corroded specimens, uh, we've noticed that excessive decrease for uh, all aging exposures was noticed, and up to 18% uh, decrease was not for the peak aging uh, condition. To conclude, an essential decrease of the activity and heat stress of the aluminum alloy 2024 welded joints was evident in comparison with the non welded, as I said before. Artificial aging heat, treat, uh, heat treatment uh, before welding does not essentially affect the conventional heat stress of the welded joints. Uh, a recovery in the allegation and fracture of electron beam welded specimens was evident at the operating condition. The corrosion, which uh, was uh, the main part of our investigation, induced uh, the degradation is um, inverse for uh, gait stress and can side activity with the increasing uh, aid. And uh, finally, a decrease of approximately 18% in the critical stress intensity factor due to corrosion exposure was noticed up to peak aging condition. 